spend in a miserable way. <laughs> What is up guys, it is Matt here for Movies R Us, and today we are talking about 2018's The Commuter. I just got done watching The Commuter, so I'm not going to spoil it for you, but just be prepared because I never know what I'm going to say, uh, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. But yeah, The Commuter starring Liam Neeson and Patrick Wilson uh, came out in 2018. Uh, it was a crime drama action film that was an hour and 45 minutes and only rated PG-13. Now, if you know anything about Liam Neeson, you know that he's usually surrounded by a lot of action films from Star Wars to um, any of the Taken films. Uh, and this was no short of action. There was a lot of action in the movie, um, but there was a different feel to the movie. Um, this was a movie where he was kind of taken hostage, not taken hostage literally but he was in this game that uh, he was on a train and he was putting a game with these people where he had to find somebody and if not his family would be killed um, by the end of the train line um, so there was a lot of action involved but still there was a weird feeling to the movie I don't know it was really different um, something I, I didn't like about it if you didn't really pay attention it kind of got confusing towards the end um, for me anyways uh, it's just it had a weird feel to it. Um, I did like the movie, but there was just a weird feel to it. I don't know. It was kind of a different movie for Liam Neeson to do. Um, it, it, the whole game thing was just kind of different for him. Um, like I said, I did like it, and I do suggest seeing it if you're an action fan or a Liam Neeson fan. But it definitely wasn't top of my action films. I mean, I'm probably going to watch it again at some point in time, but um, as of now... You know, it, it was just kind of there. I did keep my attention the whole movie, but still, towards the end, it just, there was something different about it. I don't know what it was, but it just, it, it got kind of confusing. Um, but all in all, I'm probably going to only give this movie just a six. Um, I did like it. Uh, the action in it was good. Uh, the story was okay, but there was just some something about it that just, I don't, I don't like being confused in movies, and this is one of those movies where I seemed confusing um and that's one thing i don't like but other than that I, I do suggest going and seeing it uh it's on amazon video right now it's also you could probably rent it somewhere i don't know if it's on netflix but you can check it out um but yeah let me know what you think of it maybe you saw it maybe you're looking for something to see let me know what you think of it i'd love to talk to you about it um but yeah that's 2018's the commuter um, check that out. Um, but for Movies Are Us, guys, I am Matt, and I will talk to you later.